Hello everybody, I hope you're having a fantastic day. I thought I would do something a little different today. I have the Kaiweets KVB01 and it is a battery tester designed for vehicles and 12 and 24 volt batteries with these sweet little alligator clips. I've already used this thing on my 2023 Kia Telluride and uh, I'm over here with the one ton van and uh, decided that what I would do is just kind of give you a little bit of a demonstration of how this thing works. So I've lived in some of the more intense parts of the world. I've spent a decent amount of time in Africa, South America. I've lived for years in the extreme heat of Florida and the extreme cold of Alaska. And uh, I can say this, in Alaska, when a battery is about to die in a car, you almost always get some kind of like slightly slower starting in the cold. You'll, you know, you'll just notice that it's not quite cranking over as hard as it was. And then, you know, a couple times of that and your battery is dead. My experience in Florida has been that your battery goes from completely working to completely not working. And so it's just an interesting phenomenon down here. And so I thought that it would actually be a really good place to test this Kiwi's KVB01 meter and just see what it does. Now, if you'll notice, there's nothing on the screen and that's because this thing does not have a battery. It actually used the clips on the battery to power itself. And I actually think this thing could be invaluable for both vehicles and for people who have solar. Like I think it could be a really good way to test the health of your batteries, at least kind of informally. So we're going to check it out and I'm going to show you how this thing works. I will say Kiwi's did send me this, but it's not your typical sponsorship video. Um, I was looking at it on their website and there was a bad link and I told them about the bad link and they were kind enough to send me the meter, which I thought was very, very sweet. So I did get this for free, but these are my opinions. So the reason why I picked this vehicle is that this battery was uh, manufactured on 10 of 2019 and I bought it 11 of 2019. And uh, that is what we call in Florida, borrowed time. So the first thing you'll need to know is the cold cranking amps, and in this case, 850. And so we're gonna go ahead and put this thing on and I'll show you what it does. And as you can see, uh, plugging the battery in is actually what brings this thing to life. And we're at 12.01 volts. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and hit this button and we're gonna tell it that we're on a 12 volt system. And we're gonna just give it a basic battery test. And this is an AGM battery and we're going to give it, you can give it different standards. We're going to give it cold cranking amps. And so what we need to do is hold this and it will speed up as you go. Um, so I'm just going to kind of hit it a couple times till we get to the 850 and we're going to hit the button and it will do its testing. And as I expected, uh, this thing is at an 11% state of charge, which is what the SOC is and a, uh, 35% state of health. And so it is putting out 506 cold cranking amps. Uh, again, as I expected, borrowed time. 800 cold cranking amps, so we're gonna hit enter and it's gonna do some testing. And you can see that the state of charge is 60%. The state of health is 100% reading 12.4 volts, 918, so above spec cold cranking amps. So given the fact that the battery is on the passenger side of the vehicle, it's actually pretty impressive that it reaches this far. Um, I probably should charge the battery before I do the next test, but I'm getting rid of it. So I'm not going to do that. So the last two tests are probably the most important. We want to do a loading test and a charging test. Now this thing only weighs a couple of ounces, so it can't put a big load on the battery, but it can use your engine to do it. So we're going to hit loading test and it's going to tell us to uh, increase the speed to 2000 to 2500 RPMs and then hit enter. So I'm going to see if I can do that right now. So we're going to come up here. That's not going to want to stay there. So we're going to get in that range. We're going to hit okay. And it tells us that everything is good. And finally, we're going to do that charging test. And it's going to tell us to put it up to 2,500 to 3,000 RPMs. And as you can see there, it tells us that everything is good. All right, so final thoughts. It comes with a manual that's actually good. Um, it's available in a bunch of different languages. The unit itself works in a bunch of languages. Uh, you know, text instructions picture instructions you really couldn't ask for very much more for that especially at the price point 
comes with a nice little case, uh, nothing too fancy, but it will hold the unit. Um, the unit right now runs, uh, retail is $47.99. It's on sale for $46.99 at Amazon. There's a 10% coupon, which will bring it down to $41, $42. There's also another 15% promo if you bundle it. So there's a lot of good deals on this thing right now. Um, so overall, there's a couple different people who I think should consider this. For one, if you're like me and you're, you know, the shade tree mechanic type person, or you just care about making sure that your vehicle starts, it's a, it's a good buy. You know, the fact is that I will not get stranded um, either somewhere else or in my driveway because I took the time to test my battery with this unit. Um, I think that kind of pays for itself. The second one is if you have a solar system and you're managing like any kind of DIY solar system and you've got all these different cells, this thing tests a lot of different kinds of cells, including things like, um, like UPS batteries and stuff like that. Very good for things like that. Um, your charge controller may do it, but it probably does it as a, you know, as an entire bank of batteries. This would allow you to test things one by one. And finally, um, you know, if you do this even kind of semi-professionally and you don't have something like this, you know, it's probably not worth buying a snap on one for some quick tests. You know, if you're one of those oil change places and you know, you can, uh, you know, test some batteries real quick. One of the funny things about this thing is it has the ability to save your settings. So you could actually, you know, hook it up and show the customer somebody else's battery, make them think their battery's bad. You know, just kind of like how you pull out the old cabin air filter and tell them how filthy it is. So, I mean, you know, you rip somebody off by selling them a, bat a battery when their battery wasn't bad. I mean, it pays for itself the first time you use it. I mean, how great is that? Uh, but seriously, this thing is, in my opinion, if you already think you're kind of interested in it, I would buy it. You know, if you don't really see how you'd use it, probably not for you, but if you can see the value in being able to test the health of a battery and the health of a charging system, then I think it's an absolute buy. So, hey, thanks for watching and have a great day.